Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In a previous lesson, we have covered 2D plotting. In this lesson, we are going to cover 3D plotting into MATLAB. So, three-dimensional plots typically display a surface which is defined by a function in two variables, such as x and y. So, you can define those variables like z is equal to function of x and y. So this is a kind of you can say a surface. So to evaluate this z, first create a set of x and y points over the domain of function using mesh grid. So what we can do here, we can type here x and y into a square bracket is equal to mesh grid and minus 2 and with 0. 2 step size 2 plus 2. Now it will create a mesh grid of x and y and then what we can do we can see our here x and y from here itself suppose that if you want to see right so this is a x and y okay and now let's create that function z, z is equal to, we are going to do x dot and then multiplication of exp that is the exponential. As you know here this dot is being used to say that, this dot is being used to say that this exponential will will uh, you will perform operation into each element of x. That means it will do exponential of each element of x and that the ex power, let's create that ex power that is minus x square and minus y square. So minus x then dot and then you can say the power of 2 and then minus y then dot then power of 2. So this is minus x square and minus y square and now we can create a surface from this mesh so let's create surf surf is equal to x and then y so these x and y is these are the two input variables right hand side variables and then z that is left hand side variables and just plot it so once you click on the surf you will see this mesh has been created So this is the surface plot. Okay, so as you as you can see here, this surf has been uh, you know printed here. Now the both surf and uh, its companion mesh display surface in three dimensional. That means if we if we use here mesh, let's say mesh x and y and z. You will see here this mesh has been also created a plot into three dimensional. But one thing you might have noticed that into a surface it was filled with the color fully color, but now into a mesh this is uh, not fully filled with the color, only it is plotted as a line. So this is connecting lines, you can say. So, wire this mesh produces wireframe surfaces that color only the lines connecting to defined points. Now suppose that if you want to see your mesh and the surf plots in a single figure, earlier we had seen that how you can plot a multiple figure in a single figure, but those figures were overlapped on each other. But in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can plot these figure side by side in a single figure window. So for that you can uh, do here subplot. So for the subplotting you can just close it and let's do first subplot type here subplot and then just type here 2. So this 2 will define that the 2 row and let's type here 1. 1 will define 1 column. Okay. And if you do here 1 cross 2, it will define here 1 row and the 2 column and in the 
in one row two column we are going to plot the first graph and the first graph is surf and that is x y and z so here it has plotted this into subplot and now the another one that is mess okay so let's do it again so here subplot one row two column and here we are going to plot second column now it will be mess and again shg it will bring this in front of all the window so let me um, now let me show it into a larger window now you can see here this is mess uh, sorry this is mess which is like a wire framing and this is surface plot which is colored so these each rectangles has been filled with their definite color so this is all about 3d plotting and uh, multiple plots together thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day